So there's always a lot of people that ask the question, how much do people get paid on YouTube? How much do people get paid per view? What type of content gets paid the most? So let's just talk all about YouTube monetization and what pays better than others. So we're going to be talking specifically about YouTube ads. So that's what you see before the video and maybe during some mid-rolls if the video is long enough and all of that. But of course, not all ads are worth the same. So if you talk to most YouTubers, they'll say they'll have usually around $1.50 to maybe $3 per thousand views. That's what's known as like the CPM or the cost per mile. I don't know, there's a lot of different ways of saying it. There's the RPM, the CPM, the playback CPM. It's all really confusing stuff, but uh, it's all just kind of a bunch of different terms for a lot of the same thing. But it all just comes down to how much money you will get per thousand views that you get on a monetized video. So if you have a $5 CPM, you'll get $5 for a thousand views, or $5,000 for a million views. So part of the reason that some categories can make so much more than others is because, like let's say you make videos like PewDiePie, where it's just a bunch of meme videos, you know, there's no products being mentioned, it's mostly just young people from all over the world watching it. Well, advertisers are like, well, we do want to put advertisers on it, because, you know, it's going to get eyes, but we're not really sure what the target audience is of, say, the PewDiePie fan base. You know, it's such a diverse and wide variety of people. So they're like, there's not really any sort of product that will sell really well amongst that one audience. And so he will get a lot of just general audience advertisers. And so that's the kind of stuff that usually doesn't pay quite as well. Uh, one example from my old story videos, somebody left a comment on one of them saying, I got the same Pop-Tart ad four times on this video. So I guess you could figure that uh, Pop-Tart ads are gonna end up on some very general audience videos. They're not very niche. Whereas if your channel is dedicated to much more specific things that have a lot of products related to them, then you can make a lot more money. But let's just go through this chart that I found that uh, is recording AdWord data Let's not pay so much attention to the actual dollar amount because that's going to fluctuate. Let's just compare which things on average pay more than others. So right off the bat we have advocacy videos. Now when we talk about all of these categories, there's actually more to making AdSense revenue than just YouTube channels. If you have your own website, they use the same program to where they will run ads on your website and you'll get paid the same way as if it was on YouTube. So uh, not all of these will really make sense as YouTube channels, but advocacy, uh, $1.72. So that's kind of around the mid-range, I think. Next up we have auto, and auto is actually lower, which is kind of surprising to me because you would think that if people are watching videos about cars, that you'll get a lot of car ads, you know? There's a lot of car commercials, and so you'd think that that would end up on a lot of car videos and stuff like that. Next up we have B2B, which is business to business. Uh, I'm kind of surprised this one's pretty low too, but uh, maybe there's just, what are, what are you selling to businessmen, I guess? Like, <laughs> I don't know, that one just seems a little strange. But next up we've got consumer services, and this one is quite a bit higher than all of the rest so far. Now this one does make quite a bit of sense because there's a lot of companies that are trying to sell their services. And so in that case, they're all competing, throwing their advertisements out there. It's very much just a business full of sales. All right, next up on the graph is actually the absolute lowest on the chart by far, and that is dating and personals. I guess people who are in the dating market just do not have any money. <laughs> or there's just nothing you could really spend your money on that's going to help you in the dating market. Okay, next up we have e-commerce, which is also super low. Then we've got education, which is back up to average numbers. I guess, again, it's kind of like people who are looking for an education probably don't have a lot of money to spend. And you also just have to think that if people are spending money on ads like these, they're trying to sell something. And so when it comes to some of these categories, I feel like there's just not a lot that needs to be sold. And so there's going to be lower ad rates. They don't have to pay as much. There's not as much competition. All right, next up we've got employment services. Okay, so it looks like there's a lot of money going into trying to hire. And that seems like a much more targeted category towards people who are looking for work. Next up we've got finance and insurance, which is pretty high up there. Uh, no surprises there. Anyone trying to sell you insurance, there's going to be a lot of competition there. Then there's health and medical. So I guess people are watching YouTube ads to find out that they need surgery. Then you got home goods. Uh, that's another thing that is always just being sold. Then we've got industrial services, kind of lower. Next up is legal. That's the absolute highest on the list. Which makes sense. Lawyers are super rich. They can afford to market like crazy. And something you also have to really think about is that let's say you've got five lawyers who are all advertising. Those lawyers, I mean, they're bringing in tons of money because, you know, lawyers cost a fortune. And so they can afford to spend a lot of money. They've got to try to outcompete the other lawyers who are also spending a ton of money. 
So that's why lawyers are spending so much more on ad rates to try and get your attention because they can make a lot more back. And then we've just got real estate, technology, and travel and hospitality, which are all quite a bit lower than I would have thought. So as you can see, there's kind of a huge range between how much some categories pay over others. And I wouldn't really trust this graph as being like 100% science. Like there are so many little factors that can go into how much you'll get paid per thousand views. So if you ever search on YouTube, how much money YouTube paid me or something along those lines, you'll see hundreds of videos of everybody tell telling all about it, showing you exactly how much they made, how many views they got. So let's just look at a couple of examples that people have showed. So this person's showing they got 136,000 views in a time period and got $262. So that comes down to about $2 per thousand views. I mean, this channel was not super huge at the time of making this video, and $2 CPM is pretty average on the low end. Next up, we've got somebody who got 941,000 views and got $6,700 from those views. So that comes out to actually be pretty decent. That's about a $7 CPM, $7 per thousand views. And now we're taking a look at some big numbers from Graham Stephan getting 16 million views bringing in $170,000. So that's over $10 CPM. So you can see that some people are making like a dollar per thousand views, and others are making over 10 times that. Then we've got somebody who's got 700,000 views bringing in $10,000. So that's about $15 CPM. And then you've got this guy who was actually making over $50 per thousand views, which is just insane. For anyone who makes money on YouTube, you're just like, what the heck, what is up with that? <laughs> so I just wanna talk about how you can optimize making the absolute most amount of money for your views. So the number one, which is super obvious, is the one everyone talks about is don't get demonetized. So that's why if you've never made YouTube content, you can kind of understand why it's so important not to get demonetized. Because the demonetized video if you normally would get like a two or three dollar CPM, a demonetized video is like maybe a 10 cent CPM or like 25 cents. So it's really bad. You lose almost all the money on the video. I know uh, when people talk about demonetization, it sounds like they're losing 100%, but no, you, you still make like 10% of the money, maybe. <laughs> so yeah, if you're looking for the absolute most amount of money, try to keep it very clean. Have no swear words. That's why that's kind of been the thing that's taken over YouTube. You don't have much edgy content because while a lot of people might enjoy watching Filthy Frank or Max Mofo or something like that, those guys aren't really getting any money for all of the videos they're making. I mean, I get it. Sometimes people will just do it for fun. Like, you don't have to be making money. But it is kind of sad. When you're having fun making your videos, you're getting millions of views, maybe making a few hundred dollars when you're thinking, for this amount of views, I could be making hundreds of thousands of dollars if I just didn't say some bad words. <laughs> And so it's kind of hard to justify just like, oh, I'm just doing it for fun. But anyways, another way to optimize it is to have long videos with lots of mid-rolls. Um, don't overdo it. If you put in too many mid-rolls, you kind of just look like a jerk and uh, you're just wasting your audience's time if you've got like 10 mid-rolls in a 10 minute video. So be careful not to overdo it. Um, back in the day when I, w I used to make 15 to 20 minute videos, I would have about three mid-rolls and all of that. So like once maybe every five or six minutes. But that's the thing, your CPM will be a lot higher if people are watching your whole video. Because like you could have 10 ads in a video, but if people are clicking on and then clicking off after 30 seconds, you're not going to be getting any money from all of those ads placed there. And just because you have an ad break placed throughout your video, um, does not mean that people are guaranteed to see an ad right there. Because there's only so many ads to go around, so sometimes there's just not enough ads to actually make it in your video. But then the biggest factor in what type of ad rates you'll see on your videos comes down to the category of videos that you're making. Just like that big graph we went over, how some categories will pay a lot more than others. So let's give an example. Let's say that you make videos like Linus Tech Tips. You know, where you're buying a new product, you're testing it out, you're reviewing stuff. Uh, to be honest, I would predict that Linus Tech Tips probably makes more ad revenue than 99% of other channels. Like, he is probably in the top 1%, not just because he gets a lot of views, but because there's a lot of views on tech-related content in the industry where people are spending a lot of money. And so there's a lot of tech companies out there who are spending a lot of money on their ads to be placed on tech videos because people who are watching tech videos are much more likely to click on a tech ad. And that's something that we don't talk about nearly as much as we should too. If you click on an ad, that brings in a lot more money to that channel than if you just watched it. So like all we ever talk about is how much money I get when you watch an ad on my video. But if you click on that ad, and then especially if you buy something from that click, then I'll get a lot more. Like let's say that I'll get half a penny for you watching the ad. But then if you click on that ad, I'll get three pennies. 
And then if you spend a hundred dollars on whatever that ad was showing you, then suddenly I get like three or four dollars out of that. Now, of course, when you're getting millions of views, there are very few people who care enough to click on the ad and especially go and spend money. But let's just pretend you got 1,000 views on a video that was monetized and every one of those thousand clicked on the ad and then every single person spent money on that. Then those thousand views could bring you in thousands of dollars. So technically it is possible to have, you know, like thousands of dollars in just CPM. Of course, it's super unlikely. You're gonna need a very specific audience, which is why there's so much money to be made with very niche content. And especially if you've got like financial type content too. So like the guy that I showed who had a $55 CPM, it's a very niche type audience and he, he talks about finances and money and stuff like that. And so if a lot of people are clicking on the ads, especially, and watching all of that, then the guy's gonna get paid a lot more. And so that's how you really get into the top tier ad rates. I know for most people, it seems like the average ad rates are about $2 to maybe like $6 CPM on the high end. And so a lot of people will be really confused. Like how does somebody make, you know, like a $50 CPM when most people are making like two or $3? Like that's such a huge jump. But that's the thing, if you have a very niche audience, like you may only be bringing in 10,000 views per video, but those 10,000 views are for people who are very dedicated to that one subject. And so there's advertisers out there who also target that one subject and put their ads on those videos, which people will then click on and then go buy stuff. I mean, even if you're just a channel talking about like camping or something, and you have a whole bunch of people who watch who love camping, then you see a whole bunch of ads on the videos about like camping gear and tents and sleeping bags. And so people are always clicking on those ads and buying stuff from them then that one channel that could just be a very small camping channel could be bringing in tons of ad revenue. So there's so many ways that you can get your ads to actually pay a lot more. So hopefully this kind of breaks down a little bit how people get paid on YouTube. I know it's a really common thing that everybody's heard by now, just like, oh, here's how much money I made on YouTube. But hopefully this kind of breaks down just why some content makes so much more money than others and why some channels may not have to be that huge to be bringing in tons of money. I mean, like I said, Linus Tech Tips, even though they don't bring in quite as many views, I would not be surprised if they make more ad revenue than Mr. Beast. Because Mr. Beast, while he's bringing in tens of millions of views, like daily, um, most of his videos do not really target a specific audience. It's way too general of an audience. And it's a whole lot of kids and teenagers and people from other countries, let's be honest. And so advertisers typically don't care to target those type of audiences. And then of course, it really just depends on the time of year. I mean, there's more advertisers putting in more money, especially like around Christmas, around holidays. There's just a lot more people spending money and uh, advertisers typically have a set budget for the quarters and for the year. And so once you reach December, all of the advertisers are just like, all right, we got so much budget left over, just throw it all, spend as much as we can, whatever we've got left on advertisement in December. And that's why people make so much more content and so much better content and just, so much more money to go around when it's December. That's why December is YouTube season. I made a video about that before. But you also have to remember that the advertisers are mostly targeting people who have money and who will spend money on their product. So that's why, like, let's say you make content that's in another language, like uh, something in Hindi. <laughs> so your whole audience is gonna be people watching from India, but a lot of American brands are like, we don't really even sell to India. So we're not really gonna put our money into these videos for India. So you could be getting tons of views, but they're from people who aren't going to be making you as much money. So if you are somebody who likes to spend money online, then you are a valuable viewer. If you like to watch ads and click on ads, then you can make a lot of money for your creators. I know a lot of people come and ask me like, how can I support my creators without spending money? Basically, if you watch their videos and you click on their ads, uh, that can definitely help. Though another little thing to keep in mind, uh, something that AdWords does is uh, it will show you your revenue, but then when it actually pays you out, it will like take a chunk off of that. And that's not even just talking about the chunk that Google takes themselves. There's things called like accidental clicks. So like if you click on an ad, but then you click right off, that's considered like an accidental click. So like you'll click on the ad and it will say like, oh, we uh, will give that money to the creator that you clicked on the ad on their video. But then later, they will take that money back because it was an accidental click because you only spent like one second on the website. I don't know what the cutoff is. I'm sure it's not a great idea to try and abuse something like that. Or just like clicking on every ad, leaving it open for five seconds and then closing it. But yeah, there's just so many weird little tiny complications and details that go into ad rates and stuff like that. But just to recap, the best ways to make as much money as possible on YouTube 
is to have a very niche audience who will buy certain products. It's to stay monetized so that you actually get ads playing on your videos. Then it's having longer videos that people actually watch the whole thing so that they can see more ads throughout the video. And then it's just making types of content that sells things. And I mean, then you can actually move past just hoping you get good ads on your videos and actually having some sort of brand deals or affiliate marketing kind of things. And then if you have like a really dedicated audience, a lot of people who follow you specifically and are huge fans, then they're a lot more likely to throw money on things that you try to sell them. 